happy morning. We are going to be doing Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo. Good morning, everyone. We're, how's everybody doing? I hope this morning started off as beautiful for you as it did for me. So we're going to be doing Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo, finishing off the signs. If you didn't get any of the signs here on Instagram, you can go over to my YouTube link, um, The Real Florina Kaya, youtube.com slash The Real Florina Kaya, and all the other signs are there. Um, um, so if you didn't see any of the signs here on Instagram, they'll be on the YouTube link. So I'm going to do Aquarius right now, then Scorpio, and then Leo. So love and light, good morning to everyone. Soldier, good morning, good evening. Good evening, soldier, from Amsterdam. <laughs> My darling, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful morning, beautiful energy. I'm feeling amazing. I only slept a little bit, but Taurus is posted on... Taurus is posted. I did Taurus... Uh, and I think it's on it's on my YouTube channel if I'm if I'm not mistaken. But I know I did Taurus because I I took a long time on Taurus. So they're all posted, and if they're not here, if you don't see the signs here, that means they're posted on my YouTube channel. Like I said, um, I'm I'm choosing making um, about the reunion thing because people keep asking. I'm choosing to go a different path in my life, so. You know, we don't know where spirit and the universe will take me. Thank you, Resilience. Yes, Taurus is posted. It's on my YouTube channel. If someone could pin, um, could pin this comment. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to write the um, YouTube. YouTube.com. Hold on, guys. Let me just do this. Slash. The real. Florina Kaya. Post and pin comment, and there you go. That's my YouTube, and that's where all of the information is for. I mean, all of the signs are posted right now. <sighs> Love and light to everybody. So remember, we're doing Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and then we're going to do Scorpio, and then we're going to do Leo. Because I didn't get to do them last night. So I woke up like I got to get these signs done today for my peoples because this week I'm going to make it more about um, information content like I'm going to put a lot of information out things that I've learned things that I want to teach for free I wanted to put a video up teaching people how to read tar tarot and how I did it so you can learn for yourself and give yourself and others guidance through the magical power of tarot. Okay. So let's go for the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages are we giving our Aquarius this morning? Thank you, Spirit. Love and light only, please. Spirit of love and light, protect us as we get guided through these messages. We thank you in advance for any messages we have and are about to receive. And we are grateful for the gifts that you have and are about to bestow upon me and my viewers. Thank you so much. Love and light to everyone. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Grand Rising, everyone. Grand Rising. Time to start the day with three positive thoughts. What are three positive things that you feel happened to you recently? Not focusing on the negative. We're focusing on the positive here. Okay? We're transforming our lives into something great and positive. We are giving ourselves the okay to be happy, the okay to feel love, okay? Good morning, Paula. Oh, did you see that card? Hey, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, wow, beautiful. So, Aquarius, we got, wow, wow, Aquarius, okay. Um, I'm a Aquarius moon, so I don't know if anybody else has Aquarius in their chart heavily. Um, but like I always say, if the message resonates with you, it's for you. I don't really pay attention to signs when I'm reading, when I'm getting tarot read, because 
it's just if it resonates it does but here's for the Aquarius this is for you your message and I have here star bathing okay star bathing light body crystal grid transmission activation you guys everybody almost everyone has gotten something with activation and downloads cards like look at this card like light body like being a light body you see how she's laying there or he's laying there and around him or her there are these magical lights coming down and the body is light it's like a the crystal grid like maybe you work with crystals maybe you want to start working with crystals um they might help you transmit the energy into you and activate yourself um purple um amethyst is great for psychic and intuition purple amethyst so um oh and it's funny because i'm saying purple am amethyst and look at this card it it is purple amethyst like so you know and if you want if you can't think clearly clear quartz is great for that too okay um I, there's yellow quartz in this as well but clear quartz is great for people who are having problems concentrating and thinking and focusing okay so the messenger wow aquarius the messenger look at this card look at you this is like somebody who was came down from the stars and you're bringing harmony and balance to and i'm hearing for a lot of you for to the people around you that are not enlightened you seem to be enlightening them and bring somebody's getting activation in the crown chakra because i'm getting very sharp um crown chakra activation right now surrender to the sweetness venus energy pleasure pleasure joy make love to life i do see that somebody is going to have love i feel that very strongly for you aquarius <clears throat> amethyst is your birthstone wow mine is um sapphire september that's amazing um yeah and i'm gonna say that i'm feeling this like mm, Almost, like you're gonna get a message about love but i'm feeling like this is like not just only activation like wild like star seed stuff where you were brought here for a reason i also feel like this is gonna be for love somebody's gonna be running running into love um i heard soulmate for somebody as well like i said opening our hearts didn't i start off this reading what did i start off saying open your hearts to receiving gifts look at this what came out exchanging gifts Aquarius you got an exchange of gifts here happening left right to you from the universe to you from you to the universe you're giving and you're receiving and they want you to imagine and use your imagination at this time to open your hearts to receive it like I said and to imagine and create the life that you truly truly want for you right because when we create when we focus on the life we want and need and we ask the universe to provide it for us they truly will okay they truly will all you need to do is believe and have faith really it's it's a matter of believing and having faith and when you believe and you have faith and you take the steps and the actions towards creating that life for yourself aquarius you feel like you're gonna have that that final change in um direction right that final that new uh that new high street that new um energy surge right okay Aquarius so let's pull some tarot for you um I'm getting that someone's going to change the direction of their path somebody wants to change things up like you could be doing something right now that's that's it's good but it doesn't feel like something that you should you want to do forever i feel like there's um that's where that oh okay all right thank you that's where i'm getting the activation part from maybe you're doing something and something's telling you to change directions and to switch paths and you're being guided towards that way your spirit guides are actually communicating with you heavily right now um because you're in the process right now of wanting to change your life like i said and so your spirit guides are asking you First of all, they want to tell you that you're a messenger, okay? If you're here in this room right now, if you're watching this, if you're with me right now and I'm picking up your energy and this is a message for you, if you got in this room or you're watching this right now and you see this, just know that you are a messenger. As a form of human, we are kind of all messengers. However, some of us choose to take that mission seriously. And when we do, 
we are used as a platform to help others be guided through our guides. Because our guides communicate with us every single day. They tell us things every day, every morning, every night. They're trying to help us. When we feel down, they come to us, it's okay, it's okay. And you feel that rush, and then you start going back into the sadness. Every time you get down, something lifts you up. Every time, listen, you have strong energy around you. Use it to your benefit, you know. And also, I'm, and I'm getting for you, please don't be so serious, you know, because you got to surrender to the sweetness here. Like, she's sitting there or he's sitting there on top of the rocks and he's enjoying the colors. And I would imagine that um, to put your, mm, I would imagine to sit and imagine, you know, use your imagination, play with your imagination a little bit. Think about what you want. And usually the universe will provide us with what we need and um, what we want will come along with that, you know. So um, imagining, using your imagination and being a little bit more lighthearted right now, Aquarius, not being serious and like taking things so seriously. There might be an opportunity or something that might be coming along to you right now and you're mm, not sure if you should take it or not here. There could be something, an offer. This is, I'm, and I got the message in the beginning that this strongly for someone with the spiritual aspects, the spiritual nature, but then there's someone here who's like, this is about love, you know? Um, like, you might be getting offers, you're not, look at that. I'm telling you, there's commitment. Like, somebody's trying to commit to you. Somebody wants you. Somebody's watching you, but not in a creepy way, so don't get scared. Um... I almost feel like somebody's um, watching you under the guises of someone else. They're got a secret profile. They like you, but they're afraid to talk to you. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. I see a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I see an Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius here. Um, you could be creating balance here with this person um, and it feels like you're not gonna want this at first but i just gotta say whoever this is for and whoever this is coming towards you i feel like this person is trying to bring balance into your life they want to help you with something too and you're like no you're like no at first but they're telling you your, your guys are telling you to open your heart to receive this opportunity you see this you see that you see that exchanging gifts i'm looking at and look what pops up here Okay, exchanging gifts and Luga, Luga pops up here. Like, this is an incredible. That means that you're going to be receiving gifts, and I'm getting pressure in the right eye right here. So, um, it's like almost like a, a swift news is going to come in, something that's going to shock you, Like, but it's going to be good. It's a good shock. It's a really good shock. Um, and I'm also hearing, don't be afraid of love. Don't be afraid of love. So if you've been like in relationships or stuff hasn't worked out for you in the past, it is clearing up, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Listen, the nine of wands in reverse, man. I, I, for me, that card literally represents like PTSD for me, like past trauma, looking back at things and still holding on to the past. Because if you see upright, he's still holding on to the past. And he's got a bandage on his head. He's wounded. But this was an upside down. This is the wounded warrior card. But upside down, you're no longer living in that energy. And um, also, you're moving like this is a start, a fresh start. And there's no more sitting back waiting for this. You're actually taking action now. Now, it's, now you're actually like, oh, okay. I'm here and being called to action. Being called to your service. Being called to your life's purpose for some of you. Um, you, you're, oh, look what just flipped over. You see that? Do you see that? Do you see what, I, what just flipped over? I want to tell you, Aquarius, I'm getting a strong sense of somebody here is really completing a cycle right now. And so, yeah, so all of that hard stuff that you went through, um, you're going to kind of look back at, I'm hearing you're going to look back at it and laugh soon. Like, you're, like, I'm hearing like within a couple of months or whatever, you're just going to be laughing your ass off, like. I'm, I'm going to say I'm getting a petty energy a little bit. Like, haha, look who's laughing now. That's what I felt. I just heard. It's a little petty, but it's okay. <laughs> because um, sometimes, you know, you got to be a little petty. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's like you completed something. I, I'm going to say it was rough. I'm not going to lie to you and say that your journey through this release of karmic cycles was not, it was not easy. 
like you 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 went through the ringer. I woke up this morning in my bed meditating, crying, tears of joy, thanking the universe and for spirit for being there with me this whole time and guiding me to the place I am today. And I was looking back at my life and for the first time ever, well, not for the first time ever, but for the first time ever, ever. And I'm telling you this so that you can practice this, not because I want to tell you my life story. This is my journey will help you get to your journey and complete your journey. I was in bed and I was crying and I was so grateful because I was looking back at my life. And yes, I've had a great life, but there was a lot of trauma and trials and tribulations and, and things that I created and others created. And it was a lot. But then I seen myself, and I want you to do this for yourself, you guys, please. I seen myself completing all of that, and I just looked at it for what it was for the first time, and I had no feelings about it, no hate towards it. I just looked at it, I examined it, I accepted for what it is. It was my life, it made me the person I am today. I am a stronger, better, smarter, faster, wiser, human being because of it and all of these lessons that I actually came down here to learn that I know that I signed up for in the first place but you don't know that when you're in the body because you come into the body as a spirit and you're not aware that you're actually here to learn the exact lessons that you are learning you do not get to pick the kind of lessons you're taught, I mean, in which direction the lessons are taught. So like, if you're supposed to learn a specific lesson, it doesn't mean that you get to choose how you're gonna learn that lesson, but you are learning the exact lesson that you're supposed to be learning through a different way. So what I will tell you is to accept it for what it is, Thank God in the universe for you still being here right now because you could not be here right now. You could not be here right now. And if you were not here right now, as much as you think nobody would notice or nobody would care, a lot of people would be hurt and broken. And then now they have to deal with that drama, trauma of losing you and you not being there. And I'm going to tell you that your life is a journey. You are here to learn lessons. Learn the lessons. Take them for what they are. Move forward. See your life. Not in, oh, poor me, my life was like this. That's the energy I was in about three years ago. Oh, but I went through this, but nobody understands. Ba -ba 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 oh, poor flow, poor flow, poor flow. Nobody likes me. I'm ugly. I'm fat. I'm stupid. Blah, blah. That was me three years ago. And that's not easy for someone to admit that I was that crazy and insecure and didn't love myself. But today I'm going to tell you why I do this work. And more than just tower and put out videos. And I do it for a reason because my journey is here to show you that you are possibly going to be in the same position if you're not in that place right now where you have learned to love yourself and accept yourself for who you are. Not try to be fancy for nobody. Not care what people think. When you become comfortable with you, the world has no choice but to become comfortable with you. And the ones that don't, believe me, you will walk away from that real fast. And that's exactly what you should be doing. So Aquarius, I'm going to tell you right now, there is nothing in life that you cannot do because you have broken, completed, and ended a cycle, baby. Goodbye, bad karma. Hello, dharma. Dharma, karma is things that you have to learn lessons from and, and fix things and you're mending relationships and all that. Dharma is when you get into the good deeds and living the life your soul's purpose your life's purpose your dharma is like your life's purpose you're now living it and through that you still learn lessons and you still grow and you still um you know uh go through um some things you know it's not always going to be perfect it's not because then life won't listen if life was all perfect for everyone guess what none of us would be learning anything you understand so if you Good. And you're legit crying because you know that it's yours. You claim this and you know it's yours. And that's a good thing. Cry that shit out, man. I cried this morning. I woke up and cried. Happy as all fucking, as a fucking, um, I don't know, a deer in, in eating hard corn that I throw out for her. Like, that's how happy I was. But I was crying and I was releasing and I was 
And I woke up and immediately started to record my ideas on my phone. Let me tell you something. As soon as you wake up in the morning and before you go to bed at night, for some reason, best time. We have the best ideas. Instead of getting up in the morning, right away checking your Instagram, I do that after I give my brain a little break. You know, sometimes I'll check my emails or something, you know, but I'll stop myself. Like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. So we're done with Aquarius. I'm going to get to Scorpio next, but I just want to give a few things too that I want to say. Um... Not doing that early, like when you wake up in the morning and you have these ideas and stuff and you have all this stuff that you think about, take, if you don't like writing, sometimes I get annoyed because I think faster than I write, so I just record myself. I want to do this, I want to do that, and boom, 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 and I'll talk in the voice record, and guess what? Two weeks, three weeks down the line, I'll listen to it and I'll be like, oh, that was a good idea. Some shit will be bullshit, you'll throw it to the side, just like when a rapper writes music, some of it will be trash, you'll throw it out, some of it will be gold. But you got to look back on your notes. And so if you can't take notes, and believe me, I take a lot of notes. I have books like this full, 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 because I'm going to write my book, right? So I need all that. But what I will tell you for yourself is to just record thoughts. Take a one place that you can have. Record all of your um, all of your ideas Recall or, or write all your ideas down or something. Or even speak into the phone and let it write the notes, Okay. Because I would tell you, we come up with some great ideas, man, but we think they're shit. My moon sign is Aquarius, actually, now that you ask. <laughs> Happy Thursday. My moon sign is Aquarius, so, <laughs> and my rising is Libra. I always thought it was Aries because I thought I was born in the morning and, I mean, at night. And my mom's like, no, you were born in the morning, you idiot. I was like, oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> We got Scorpio here, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And what are the messages we have for our lovely, beautiful Scorpios? Our occult leaders, our mysterious, mystical shamanisms, and, and witches and warlocks, and all the stuff that people think is evil. <laughs> Scorpios are. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know, I'm saying, though, Scorpios are so... Me too. My ascendant is Leo. Oh, really? Get out of here. Are you, so you're a Virgo and Aquarius is moon and my Venus is in Leo. Girl, okay. All right, Scorpios. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart like me, I have Scorpio. I have um, two Scorpio placements and actually where the home and family foundation is and the finances. Um, I'm not sure which houses or whatever because I don't really do all that. But um, I have a lot of Sagittarius, a lot of Gemini, and Libra. So I have a lot of air in my chart and a little fire and um, <clears throat> a little earth. But like mostly I'm like air. All right. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the message just for Scorpio here? <clears throat> Follow, babe. I love me in Aries, you know. Your rising sign is Scorpio. Oof. Oh, as soon as I said that, resilience. Girl, look at that. As soon as I said that, your rising sign is Scorpio. Oh, shit flew out. <clears throat> your life is a canvas, Scorpio. Artist, manifestation, create accountability. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Pulse of the mother, slow down, take time in nature. Earth, learning how to be human in a world, but not of it. I think we were just talking about how this, how the spirit is. If you're having pain in the chest area or the shoulders, because I'm getting that for somebody here, if you're having this pain in the back and the neck and the shoulders and the chest right here, especially, um, I feel tension here in my rib, like my uh, clavis, clavis is this called, clavicle, uh, whatever it's called. If you're having pain in these areas and you're feeling heaviness up here, um, I would do some stretching in the morning right away. You can, what my favorite stretch is to put my hands up on the door, you know, the top of the door and just hang from it and let everything just crack, like, because if you're having that and, um, um, and you're feeling that pain because I'm feeling it for somebody. I'm feeling spine pressure for somebody. A lot of spine pain. Lower back issues. 
Um, if you have not, please do some stretches, some yoga. Take, just go on YouTube, easy yoga stretch moves to relieve back pain, and they'll show you. Oh, look at you, Scorpio. You got imagine again and blessed. Manifestation. Look, I'm getting here for you strongly that you need to, um, the manifestation here. The manifestation here, you have a big, a big, mm, okay. You have a very um, strong capability of manifesting and you're reliable and people trust you and but they don't want you to isolate. So if you're finding yourself isolating, you got to find a community that works for you because there is a community that works for you. Sometimes I, f I feel like you get this feeling of like, nobody understands me. And they don't because you're a fucking Scorpio. Like you're a badass bitch. Like everybody's not going to understand you because you're a badass bitch. Like or a badass dude. Like you're a Scorpio. Like Scorpios are... Not people that are just like for everybody because they they are very like very very smart intellectual people. Um, <clears throat> they need strong sexual and mental stimulation. So yeah, if every if people are not for you, it's because they just don't they're just not vibrating there with you because you see you're like this um the hierophant like you're just um like look how people are sitting there like look they're looking at you these bald headed people <laughs> they're looking at you and asking you for um for um for guidance like it's like the people around you they're not they're not just your friends they're, you're always guiding them like okay so um just 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 realize that you cuz cuz you're blessed Scorpio you're blessed cuz the people around you are constantly looking for guidance from you and you're not alone, and you're not alone. I know, and even though, like, and I, I'm telling you, whoever's got this lower back pain like this, um, you know, take some hot towels and put it on there a couple of um, times a day, maybe. Um, do some stretching or whatever, because um, it, I can feel a lot of pressure on my lower spine, so I want to clear that energy, please. Let's clear that energy in the lower lower back, please. And in the chest area. So I don't know if somebody's been having problems breathing, or maybe you have asthma, but um, I just cleared that and it went away. So if you have these things, you know, steam, lots of steam, um, eucalyptus and um, and peppermint oil, these things to put in a, in an infuser in a def uh, What is that? Those things called the, the. Why can't I think of the word diffuser? No. Air purifier. Excuse me, and and get that in your um. In your home, okay. Um, eucalyptus oil is great for that, okay? All right, so Scorpio. That's another thing because I'm seeing like you as a person who's very in tune with the... Um, hi, Alma, I love you, baby. In tune with the um, spiritual realm. You know, you're the Scorpio. You're the one who's... Um, you're you're literally the mystical one. You're, um, you're like the leader of the occult. Like, so I would see any Scorpio being great at being not only just an advisor, but a spiritual advisor. And a lot of Scorpios have those kind of jobs. They help people manage their money and stuff like this. They're good at stuff like that. They're very good with like putting money away and 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 monetizing. And just they're very good at these 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 things. They're very smart. But when it comes to spirituality, because that's what I focus on mostly. But also, I feel like some money is um is is. Is traditionally is is going is is gonna traditionally, um, no, mm -mm, wait. Oh, okay. It's gonna take a spiritual path. It's oh, that's what I was here. Okay, they're gonna go from a traditional path to a sp very spiritual path, and this is a new beginning. And it's bringing in like a passionate, fiery. You see that? You see that how he's put the the Ace of Wands is pointing to the Hierophant, giving the Hierophant a gift here, of spiritual enlightenment. Oh, okay, on some next level shit. Okay. I I just heard we're coming. Like this is what I heard. We're coming. So I don't know who's we, but just. <laughs> So, okay, so be ready for it because we're coming. That's what I'm hearing. And I, I like, not in a scary way. They're, they don't want to, they're not going to scare you. They're going to do it in a, 
I don't know if your guides are going to contact you or you're going to get some kind of download from the universe here, Scorpio, but there's something coming in your way where you, I think, um, mm, I just, um, oh, some of you might, oh, some of you might receive, it's not for everybody, but some of you might receive, um, visions or pay attention to your thoughts. I heard, tell them what you were saying before about when you first wake up, how your mind is still fresh and still in a REM-like state like mine is right now. So I'm easily communicating with the other side. Like I can hear thoughts clearly in my head right now. And I heard, yeah, you can. <laughs> Mm, so you know uh oh pressure right here and see what i'm saying that's what they're saying to you to do most of your sp like i'm feeling this as a spiritual thing for you scorpio um 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 uh, you it, it feels like you uh, sethu baby why is it hilarious you like this it's funny i'm a clown i amuse you no i'm just kidding so I just feel like somebody's really going to um, get, see, because you gotta understand when people say they're hearing things, we're not, I'm not actually hearing a voice speaking to me. Like that's not how I hear it. It's like a clear thought in my mind. It'll come in doot, 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 doot. and I'm like, wait, what? Like, and so, you know, I know it's not me because I don't talk to myself unless I'm like, fuck, where did I put my keys or something like that? You know what I mean? So it's like, that's what, when, when people say they hear things, that's what they mean. Okay. Um, you got see okay so scorpio this is you um look at if you look at this card if you, if you look at this card there's a big stink bug in there and it keeps making buzzing noises and i don't it keeps making buzzing noises a bug hold on okay hold on guys i gotta go kill a bug for my daughter it's very distracting okay baby Mommy to the rescue. <clears throat> All right, mommy to the rescue. I fin I killed the bug. We're good. Is everybody still with me? I don't. Did it freeze? Okay, now. Mm, the Marion. We don't know what's happening with that. Okay, so Scorpio. Like I said, I'm seeing this is you. Welcome back. Thank you. I am. Set don't I am you're funny. I saw that last comment. Thank you. So this is how I'm seeing the Scorpio here. Okay, look at the faces. If you look closely at this card, the face is looking away and it's looking at the person, the suitor. Is how I'm getting this. So they have like a face turned away and a face turned towards them. Yeah, that's my Cancer baby. Yep, that's my Cancer baby. I only have one daughter, one child. Um, here on this earth, I have one one child. I have many children in the astral. Many, many, many. I was a mother many many times and they've come visit me in my dreams a lot i'm on scorpio right now um what's the matter babe okay i'm done you're done we're not with school i mean school we're gonna go back at two. Oh, can i get a kiss and then get a story kissy kissy no kissy. this is embarrassing i can't have a kiss it's embarrassing. okay my love all right shh. okay Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be long, so just, if you don't like it, go in my room and watch TV, okay? Um, Chef, I don't want, I don't want to hear it. No. Ali, don't start, mommy. Please. No. I will beat you on this live. I don't care. I will, it will be exposed. <laughs> You'll be exposed. All right, no, for real. Shh. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, Scorpio, I'm seeing somebody. Looks like somebody's coming in for you, right? <laughs> oh, eight minutes until the live ends. Okay. Um, 
So it looks like somebody's coming in for the Scorpios. It looks like there's going to be a tower moment here. This is an awakening, huge awakening. But I do feel like you're stepping into your power and letting go of toxic um, energy here. Wow, yeah. You broke a long toxic cycle here, okay? Really long, okay? I, I have been doing Scorpio for a while. But what's coming towards you is for you to get internal guidance and for you to seek. I told you, this is a spiritual thing for you guys. Like, it looks like the Scorpios are going to be... Getting in tune with their spiritual side, okay? Um, all right, so and plus it looks like financially, it looks like you're going to go from the energy of giving, giving, giving to actually being able to give without being broke while giving. So money's coming in for somebody here, okay? All right, let's um, end this live and come back and do the Leo, okay? I'll be right back.